The Honda Express was a scooter made by Honda from 1977 to 1983. This particular one is a 1982 Urban Express, the last generation. All of them are powered by an air-cooled, two-stroke, single-cylinder 50cc engine, churning out an amount of horsepower so low it's probably not measurable. Seriously, I couldn't find it listed anywhere. The Urban Express is a very small, very light, relatively slow scooter. It weighs maybe 140 pounds-ish wet, which is really nothing for any motorcycle, and makes it incredibly easy to muscle around, and a very easy bike to start on for a new rider. It theoretically tops out at around 30 miles an hour-ish, and if I'm being completely honest, it's probably downhill. Might have been a little faster in 1982. Maybe. The transmission is a CVT, pretty standard for a scooter. Twist and go, super easy. Front and rear drum brakes are both controlled via the handlebars, and the brakes work surprisingly well. It has a compressing fork in the front, which, unlike the weird swing arm thing on its cousin's Super Cub scooters, actually helps the wheel brake. It's got a front and rear rack for toting around groceries or a jerry can or whatever else you might need to run around town with. And to start it, you've got a Kickstarter, and to park it, you have a center stand. It's even got this little parking brake thing to lock the rear tire if you're leaving it on a hill or something. It's a two-stroke, but it's oil-injected, so you don't have to mix gas, and you can still fill it up at a gas station. You basically just have to keep an eye on the oil tank and top it up every few tanks of gas or so, and you're good to go. It won't ever be as easy or as clean as a four-stroke, but it's more user-friendly than having to mix gas. Until that system develops issues, which is always a possibility. All that being said, unless you live in the 1980s, probably not all of the gas stations around you offer ethanol-free gasoline, which is what you should probably run in any bike of this vintage unless you enjoy cleaning carburetors. These scooters have a small but strong aftermarket community, and a few minutes of research online will yield lots of forum results for how to work on them and even get some more power out of the little motor. The Urban Express will serve different uses depending on your environment. Despite its lack of power, the intelligent design and weight of this little scooter make it super fun to throw around traffic and tight little paths. If you're living in a very densely populated area with low speed limits, it's an awesome city runabout. It's small, it's light, it sips gasoline. But if you don't live somewhere like that, like any 50cc scooter, it probably won't have enough power to keep up with traffic and is more useful as a way to get around your property or a campground or something like that. It's never going to be as clean burning and reliable as a brand new Honda scooter, but it's not hard to find a decent one for a lot less money, and it's just got so much more style than any modern scooter could possibly have. It's not fast, it's not showy, it's just simple fun on two wheels. Feel free to leave any questions or feedback in the comment section. Thanks for watching.